So let's see just how many wrong things per second square can we notice in this small clip. Okay, so in order for them to get this Marvel level humor, right? I mean, he's trying to put the ring on and it doesn't work, but, but eventually he puts it on the little finger. Oh my God, that, that is so funny, you guys. That is so hilarious. I, I'm already shaking my hands like uh, I, I'm suffering from autism. Um, in order to do this, they have to break so much of the lore. And, and I, I don't know which is worse, the fact that they don't know the lore of Green Lantern, which is like one of the most popular superheroes around the world. Like, if you touch comic books, it is absolutely impossible that you don't know the lore. Um, or that they do and they don't care. Now, now, the reason that I'm even talking about this is, as you can see, this has like 14.4 million views on Twitter. Um, there's a debate going on between fans and anti-fans. Uh, the, the fans are basically saying that this is shit, and the anti-fans, they're like, trying to justify it, right? And they, they will justify it by basically saying, well, Green Lantern was using the rig to kill people, and I'm like, well, no, 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 like, that's not justifying it, that's making it worse, like, that's another plot hole, like, you shouldn't be able to do that. Then they say, well, actually, King Shark has willpower, it's like, no, no, he doesn't, like, like he's just the little bitch of the female characters in the game. Like, everything that a female tells him to do, he does it. There, there's no willpower there. Like, I'm sorry, he's not his own person. Uh, then they will say, like, other stuff. But, like, in reality, if you read even a couple of Green Lantern comics, you would know that, first of all, once a Green Lantern dies, the ring will just go back to Oa. Secondly, the ring gets to choose the Green Lantern. You don't just pick it up and put it on. Like, like the ring has to choose you. Um, and, and then it's also the fact that it only works for people with willpower. Like, like, there's so many things that are wrong. But eventually, when the anti-fan runs out of arguments, he will basically say, well, why do you care? And you know what? I literally thought about it, and my answer is, you're right. I fucking don't care. I don't care. Why should I pay money for this shit? Why should I spend my time with this shit? And, and the reason that the anti-fan cares is that there are millions like me that don't. Because they want this to be successful, right? Like, they want Sweet Baby to actually write good stories. But unfortunately, people don't care. They're absolutely right. I do not give a flying fuck. And if I don't give a flying fuck, you can't get me to pay $100 for a video game. This is how much they charge for this shit, in case you didn't know. Like, if you wanted to play it one week earlier, you had to pay 100 bucks in order to do so. Or, even better, right? If you were in the UK, you had to pay 100 great British pounds. That's like 150 bucks. For a video game. That's the real joke. You know, you don't need Marvel jokes in it. The, the, the balls on the people that work at Sweet Baby. You know, like, if I didn't believe that a person can identify as a different gender, just by seeing this, just seeing the massive balls that you need to have in order to ask people to pay you $150 for a video game, which apparently most people finished in 10 hours. And not only that, but, like, the quality is subpar compared to video games that were made in the past. Yeah, you need, you need to have, like, some, some really huge testicular cancer going on. I, I generally, like, do not understand how video games made today are more expensive to make, require more people to make, and are worse than video games that were made, like, six years ago. There are, like, some graphical improvements, I'm not gonna lie, you know, because technology has advanced, but everything else is shit. So when they ask you, like, why do you care? I don't, you're right. I absolutely don't. The only reason I care is that I can make a video... And this video will probably have more views than the number of people that are still playing this shit right now on Steam. So, so in a way, people get their entertainment by making fun of this stuff. Like, the only reason I care is to make fun of it. But, like, I do not care enough to actually buy t-shirts with it. I do not care enough to actually buy toys with it. I mean, you know, like, for the love of God, look, look at what J uh, Japan is doing, right? Like, the Japanese, they make a manga. It's original. And it's not just the manga, right? Like, then they get an anime greenlit. <coughs> and then they start selling toys. They start selling Dakimakras. They start selling keychains. They start selling little dolls. Right? Because people care. People are invested. They, they have managed to get people to care enough so that they spend their hard-earned money on the product. When you look at the West, it's like they're, they're making this shit. 
And then they go around on Twitter asking people like, why do you care? As if it's, it's important not to care about the business. Like it's important not to care about their entertainment. And this whole thing, you know, like, like, why do you care? It's like, okay, if you want a fandom that is not toxic, a fandom that's healthy, and you want people to start talking about who would win in a fight between Iron Man and Thor. Well, you need to have some consistency. Like Thor needs to have his powers well described. Iron Man needs to have his powers well described. And then you can have people talk about it. And by people talking about it, it starts trending. And that's free advertisement. You look at what's trending in, in the comic books, you see, oh, Iron Man is trending. Oh, I didn't buy a comic book about that. We'll see what they're talking. You know, that is free advertising. That's a good community. But in order to have that, it needs to have some logical consistency. If you say that Thor's hammer can only be picked up by the worthy, then if you have Red Skull just picking it up, you need to explain why that is. You need to have like a good explanation. Because otherwise, if you can just, you know, do stuff that's against the lore, what's the point in caring about the lore? I mean, that is suspension of disbelief, yeah? So I, I can definitely go, it's like, okay, so you have like this guy, and when he picks up the hammer, he becomes a god. Okay, like that's the premise. But everything else needs to fit with the premise that you established. It's kind of like creating a puzzle. Like the first piece that you put on the table can be literally any piece you want. But after that, all the pieces that you add have to somehow connect with the other piece and make it so that the story is immersive. And it can't be immersive if people don't care about it. And, you know, like this is uh, what, what most people are, are posting right now. And, like this is the uh, typical, I guess, person that's an anti-fan, you know, don't ask questions just consume product and get excited for the next product. Like, like this is pretty much where we're at. Where, where they're basically saying, shut the fuck up and give them money. Just shut the fuck up because they're pushing out ideology. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, like for instance, Wonder Woman, she's the only one of the Justice Leagues that has like a really nice Wikipedia entry. Uh, she is treated with respect when she passes away. All the male characters are treated with disdain and disgust. Right? And Batman even gets a moral lecture by one of the writers. And it's th things like that, you know? Like, uh, I'll probably make another video where I will show you what they did with Wonder Woman. She's got uh, a stronger jawline than I do, by the way. That That's the wonder about her. It's wonder. It's a wonder that she's a woman with a jawline like that. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. And if you want to support my channel, there's a link into the pinned comment. So just scroll down. And if you click on it, I will give you some buyer's remorse, I promise.